would see it going on with your bad sales. Current energy for Aquarius. Um, leaving that Mercury retrograde and going into Saturn retrograde. Let's see what we can expect in this shift, right? Um, tell you what, Mercury retrograde delivered. <laughs> um, everyone was feeling that shit. Offered a spiritual gift from the Divine Mother, your path need not be one of endless exertion. Connecting with pleasure as a path of personal empowerment, intending to bring spiritual benefit to the collective through the softening and opening of your heart, is an act of worshiping the Divine Feminine. Let yourself receive her loving gifts. Um, you know, I'm hedonistic enough to agree with this. Um, I do feel that, you know, having... Um, you know, doing things that you enjoy and deliberately, you know, making time for things that you know will be, you know, enjoyable for you rather than being so rigid all the time. I feel like that really helps you connect with your spiritual self, you know. Your spirit self is like your inner child, you know. Um, it likes to play. It likes to have fun. Um, you know, you don't want to be caught up taking life so seriously. It's gross. But... <laughs> Um, Kaladara, it says, when hope is lost and a way forward cannot be sensed, Kali's love will find a way. If the path does not yet exist, then it shall be created. If you cannot see or feel how you can move from where you are to where you want to be, <clears throat> Kali's wisdom and grace will be, will manifest at the perfect time to provide what is needed, right? So, um, don't lose hope in that like if you're struggling you know I know this whole you know this whole year you know this whole few years um <clears throat> has been such a you know such an experience for everybody so you know allow yourself the gentleness of just knowing that better shit's coming you know you've, you've experienced the worst of this situation I feel like um with this Mashana Kali, <clears throat> life as you've known it will tra change radically, and this can be a uh, welcome release. Kali is not quiet and subdued in the cremation ground. She is wild and vital. Kali brings energy and aliveness to situations where there would otherwise be none. She brings an end to stagnation and or that has been depleting your life force. Right, so you're being called to, like, really end that stagnation, right? And it co goes back to the comma of Kali of enjoying yourself, right? Allowing yourself to just be liberated in that way. Um, Bhuvanesvari. Bhuvanesvari. Um, she is the rising sun, marking the ending of darkness and the replenishment of life force. After illness or devastation, she creates a clean slate and a fresh start. She protects and preserves that which is worthy of the heart. She shines in a perpetual state of di divine beauty and radiance, attracting to us the most supportive and honoring um, circumstances. Kalika Tantrika. Um... Kali overcomes karma, realigns us with our path when we have veered off course, reverses the momentum of negativity, and detaches draining energy cords, restoring us to full vitality. It may seem like your will is being thwarted, or you're not getting what you want, but the goddess knows what she's doing. Her actions will benefit you. Trust. Alright, so... Like I said, if you're going through a challenging situation, you know, I feel like you're really being called to have um, understanding that all change has to come with some sort of dramatic entrance, right? Sometimes, like, 
you know, I mean, the universe loves a good story, so it's going to make it feel like your whole life's going to fall apart, and then, you know, you just rebuild, you know, um, and it's a test of your grit, your survival, your ability to not bend under pressure, you're an Aquarius, so um, I feel like you can handle a lot, actually. cards not want to talk to me <laughs> um all right let's do our mystic martian then so kind of alien you are um i say lean into it you know lean into the transition lean into the change just kind of allow your intuition to be your guide at this time um, you don't want to get caught up in, um, taking shit too seriously, you know, because that's not what this world's about. It's nothing here is serious. That's a, a divine comedy. Um, evens, mystery, reading between the lines and intuition. Like I said, Tap into your intuition. Let that shit guide you. Um, I feel like you're. We're just gonna have to go straight into the um, tarot. Let's see. All right. And so, oh, that's funny. Right at the bottom of the deck is a star card. Um, so yes, Aquarius. Let's see, what is in your energy? What's going on? Um, how can we guide you through this, right? With the Evens card, I really like that on his shirt. See that symbol? That is the alchemical symbol for the sun or alchemical gold, right? When uh, the alchemist transmutes metal into gold. Um, that's really what it represents there. Um... So I, I do see the sense of like alchemy, like, and you have to kind of go through a lot of soul work for that. It can be kind of um, rough, you know. It it tests you on every level. Um, with the emperor in reverse, I feel like um. You may have felt a little defeated by the situation or your confidence may have taken a hit recently. With the temperance card, it shows me that this was meant to humble you and I feel like it did. It really brought you down a couple notches and made you feel more patient. Um, I feel like... Uh, and if you look in the temperance card, they're like doing alchemy right there, you know? Um... It's also Sagittarius and Aries energy, right? Right off the bat, we have two major arcana coming out, which tells me that you are on your main quest line. You're not distracted with side quests. So this is kind of faded events in your life that are taking place. Um, so let's see. Yes, message. All right. King of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like you've been called to let go of something here. Um, to walk away, wash your hands clean of it. Um, let's see. Ace of Pentacles. It's like getting a new beginning, starting new cycles. Uh, kind of almost a clean slate kind of energy. You know, like just. Getting a new start and not being burdened by the past. Um, 
Princess of Pentacles. Um, it tells me that like there could be somebody in your energy who's trying, who's like caught, um, who's got their eye on you, right? You're showing up as the King of Pentacles in reverse, right? And the Princess of Pentacles is almost like a, um, well, I mean, it could be like couple things it could be like your daughter if you have a daughter or like a you know young energy a young feminine energy in your life um kind of in this energy of um but it, it doesn't feel like paternal and you know it doesn't feel like this is your child I feel like like this is like somebody who's coming in like a younger soul almost um we'll dive deeper into that Ace of Cups in reverse. This is an energy that I feel like their connection to you is that you like. Like they don't love themselves. And I feel like you kind of bring out an aspect of them that makes them feel like they could. You know, like they've dealt with, you know, confidence things. Or vice versa. You are dealing with these confidence things. You know. Put the energy where it belongs. You know where you, where you stand. Um, Eight of Pentacles. It tells me that you're just kind of focused on work. I don't feel like you're even really noticing this uh, Princess of Pentacles showing up. Or you're even really um, giving it that kind of energy. With the Four of Swords in reverse. It tells me that like. Yeah, you've got a lot on your plate emotionally, and I feel like that kind of takes up your mind. Um, King of Cups in reverse. I feel like you may be leaving it a romantic situation, or maybe just falling out of feelings with somebody. Um, with the Five of Pentacles, it's like this individual left you feeling kind of out in the cold, and you were just kind of like over it, right? With the Ace of Wands. You know, there's a lot of aces, a lot of, there's three aces telling me that you're getting a new beginning. One, 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 or no, one, 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 sorry. <laughs> Too many ones. Um, you know, ace of pentacles, new cycle, ace of wands, something that you're passionate about, you know, a passionate new beginning. Um, ace of cups in reverse, though, is, you know, indicating like somebody needs to be given themselves love. And with the temperance card, I feel like you have been, you know, I feel like you're in the energy of that. And that's why I said, I feel like it was this princess of pentacles, but let's continue on and we'll dive a little deeper. We'll know. Um, so who is this princess of pentacles? the X. Okay, this makes sense with the King of Cups in reverse and the Ace of Cups in reverse, Five of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So Queen of Wands in reverse is like this energy. I feel like they lied to you or they were just really immature, really petty. They were just spiritually really behind, right? And with the King of Swords, I see you in the energy of cutting them off, right? That's your energy, Aquarian energy swords that's the king of the air um with the king of pentacles in reverse you know i do see the energy of you letting this go and it's like with the pin princess of pentacles i see them trying to hold on and you're like no you lied to me like you you're full of shit <laughs> goodbye um i feel like you know maybe even you know this five of pentacles could have gone both ways both of you feeling a little left out in the cold for different reasons you know um, Knight of Wands, yeah, I feel like you spoke your truth in that situation, or you're going to. Knight of Wands also talks about, like, um, a message, or, like, somebody speaking their truth to you, so let's clarify that. Um... Because it's showing up at, over the Ace of Wands, which is Hellfire energy. 
um, with the temperance card underneath that, you know, Sagittarius energy. So let's see. Five of Swords in Reverse, I feel like, um, whatever this is, it brought, like, some sort of conflict in your life, but I feel like it was short-lived, you know? What else? Yeah, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. That's letting go. Fortitude in reverse. Something just wasn't working out, right? So, uh, yeah, I see you letting go of something that doesn't work out for you. Um, and what's some future energy for you after letting go of this, right? Queen of Pentacles, Four of Wands in Reverse, right? So, Queen of Pentacles is a divine counterpart to the King of Pentacles, right? Um, but with the Four of Wands in Reverse, it's like, I feel like they're kind of going through a similar thing. Um, so let me see. It's like they're holding on, you're letting go. What is this four of wands in our first floor? It's like they don't have a solid foundation yet. haven't built a solid foundation with them yet with the two of pentacles i do see changes in your situation coming you weighing pros and cons about something having options the hanged man in reverse i see you having no obstacles in regards to moving forward um six of wands in reverse i don't see you being like super quick to like jump on that though i feel like you kind of like take your time and just kind of feel out your situation like an Aquarius would. Yeah, Five of Cups, because you've wasted love before, you know, and I, I don't really feel like you want to do that again. You don't want to get hurt again. You have um, five, 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 five of Pentacles, Five of Swords, and Five of Cups on the board. Um, and that's all about transitions and changes. And then... We've got the Magician card showing up. And the Magician is all about manifesting and, you know, working behind the scenes towards your goals. Like, kind of, um, you know, like, I don't feel like you give a lot of weight to your friends and stuff in regards to what you're doing. Like, you kind of tell them what you need to. But, you know, what you work on, I feel like it's a whole different thing. Um, with the Magician showing up too, it's like, I feel like you're creating the life that you actually want, you know, you're in that energy of doing that. Um, Two of Swords, I feel like this brings you peace, um, and ultimately I feel like that's what you really wanted anyway, is to find some peace, um. In, at least in regards to this situation. Um, so let's see. 
All right, nature of the beast, you know, you really want to tap into your internal nature and really, you know, figure out what fuels your fire, what really gets you going, because, like, that's what life's about, you know, finding what your, where your passion lies and diving into that. Old ghost, it came out in reverse, but I don't read reversals on the oracles anymore, so, um... With old ghosts showing up, I feel like it's really telling you, though, that you need to release that and not allow yourself to be haunted by past feelings at this time, especially while you're trying to manifest such a bright future, you know? Um, these This hyper-focusing on the past can re really be detrimental to your manifestations, actually. Um... So yeah, that's pretty much what I have for you. I hope this was helpful. Um, namaste. I love you guys. And I will catch you on the next one.